Okay, so today we're going to show you how you can put all of these little icons at the bottom of your start menu in Windows 11. Now, what are these icons? Now, you have got here your documents folder. So when you click on it, there you go, documents open up. You've also got along there the downloads folder, your music folder, your pictures folder, your videos folder, and even your personal folder there, which brings up all of the stuff in one place to do with your user. You've also got in there the settings button as well. So you can click settings and that brings up the settings control panel. So there you go. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say today, we are going to show you exactly how you can get. So as I say today, we are going to show you how you can get all these icons on the bottom of your start menu, your documents shortcut, your download shortcut, your music, your pictures, your videos, your personal folder and your settings all alongside the power button and the bottom of your start menu on Windows 11. So I should say setting this up requires no external software. It requires no downloads whatsoever. As I say, it's only for Windows 11. So if you've got Windows 10, 8, 7, Vista or XP, then this isn't going to work, I'm afraid. But all you do is you just literally click on the start button, go to settings just over there. And then once settings has come up, click on personalization just on the left. Then scroll down until you get to start just there. Once you see start, click on that. And again, scroll down until you see folders just there and then click on folders. And here you can turn on any one of these or all of these if you want to. So say if I wanted, say, the settings button on the start bar, I can Click that on and then when I click on the start button, there you go. As you can see, I've got settings there. If I want to turn settings off, I just literally turn that switch off and there you go. Settings has gone. But say if I wanted File Explorer there, I can turn that on and then click on that. And there you go. There's File Explorer. And when I click on that, File Explorer opens up. If I want more than one, I can tick as many as I like on here. So I can click documents, downloads, music, pictures, videos. If I browse the network often, I can click on network there. If I want the whole of my personal folder, so to include app data and other folders that are not usually found in the normal file explorer, then I can click that on too. So let's just click all of them on for a second and see what they do. So they go, I've them all on. Now, if I click on the start button there, there you go. As you can see, I've got a row of icons there. So if I click on that one there, it takes me to my documents folder. If I go along to the next one, it's downloads. If you're not sure what it is, hold your mouse over it for a few seconds and a description will come up above, below, left or right of it. So just click on that. And there you go. That's my downloads folder. All the stuff I've downloaded from my web browser. Next one along, music. So if I click on that, any music I've got on my computer or downloaded to the music folder is there. Carrying on pictures. So I've got my pictures folder there, all my pictures that I've put on the computer. Keep on going. I've then got videos and then further down, we've got network. So if I click on network, there you go. That allows you to browse the local network. So if you regularly connect to other machines, that takes you straight there. Then we've got personal folder there. And like I say, that has got everything, all the folders that are in your user profile folder. So you've got desktop documents, downloads, but you've also got other folders in here as well. Carrying on, if I go to this one here, File Explorer, that takes you to quick access. And then again, if I go to the last icon, which is settings, that brings you into the settings app on Windows 11. Now, what if instead of having those little icons along the bottom there, you actually wanted them on the start menu in a bigger format like I've got there, the File Explorer, Documents, Pictures, Downloads, Music and Videos. Well, that's pretty easy to do too. 
all you need to do is open up your file explorer and then you've got down the left hand side here all your different folders so what we can do is we can just right click on each of these folders and then left click pin to start depending on what folders we want so just keep going through all the folders that you want to pin to start right click okay and then left click pin to start just like I'm doing there. And if you want to add other folders, like say this, this folder here, forms or another folder in documents, like if I go into there and I want say the forms folder just there, I can right click on that and left click pin to start. And now if I click on the start button and I might need to go to the next page by clicking on this little dot just here, but there you go. There are all my folders that I've just pinned, including the forms folder. And these are shortcuts. OK, so uh, if you click on these, it will take you to your, your forms folder or your documents, your pictures, your music videos or downloads folder. They're not copies. So don't go deleting them from uh, deleting files in them or deleting them from here. They are actually shortcuts to these files here already. So but what if you want them on the first page? So what we do is we just find them on here, hold down the left mouse button and just drag them across and up to the, the place we want to put one on the first page and then let go of the mouse button. Go to the next. So let's just go to pictures. I'm going to hold it, hold the left mouse button down, move it up and then back down next to documents there. So again, I'm going to go to music, hold down the left mouse button over it, keep it held down, just go up to the top and then you should be on the first menu and then just place it wherever you want to place it. And you just have to keep doing that. You just have to keep going back. OK, and then going up to the top and then placing it where you want to place it. If the icon goes small, then what it's going to do is it's going to put it in a folder, put them together like such there. If you don't want that, then obviously make sure that the icon doesn't go small. Or if you accidentally um, put it in a folder together, then what you can do is you can just click into that folder, click and hold whatever you want to drag out, drag it out. OK, um, just drag it somewhere out the way and then let go and there you go that brings it out if you want to remove these from the start menu then you can do that just the same all you do is you just right click on any of these icons and then left click unpin from start and that will get rid of it off of the start menu there you go that was two different ways that you can put your folders on the start menu for easy access in windows 11. i hope you like this video and if you did consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel or if you can't do that then have a look in the description down below we've got some great links down there for you to various things including my amazon shop which contains all the things i love at the moment on amazon fire tv sticks fire tv cubes and vpns buying subscribing and donating really does help support this channel it helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos and whilst you're at my youtube channel why not stick around i've got thousands of other videos for you right here right now covering all sorts of subjects hopefully whilst you're here you're going to find something to educate you entertain you amuse you and maybe even save you some time and money and if you do see any videos that you think your friends your family or your work colleagues might like to see then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines you can check me out on x i'm at cwtek you can also check out my website it's cwtek.co.uk thanks for watching and speak to you again soon